Hello and welcome to Goku Styling. Today we will be talking about styling tips for short women. Perception on who's tall, who's average and who's short changes within regions and countries. For this video we will be using 5'4 or 163 and below as our standard. Short women can be divided into three categories. Keep in mind that everyone is different and you might be between types. You can be short and wide, short and soft, or short and narrow. If you are plus size, the same principles apply, you just have to look in which category you fit best. Also keep in mind that being plus size and being curvy is not the same thing. Plus size women tend to be curvier, but it's not always the case. General tips. Being short might make your torso look longer than it is. Unless you have a very short torso, it's better to style yourself to make your legs appear longer. You can do this with high-waisted bottoms or by color blocking your garments. Dropped waist garments tend to make you look shorter, and depending on your body type, it might make you look boxy as well. As a petite woman, it's better if you choose garments that sit on your natural waist or if they are high-waisted. If you want to make your vertical line appear longer, monochromatic looks are your best option. Keep in mind, depending on how petite you are, wearing very long garments might actually make you look shorter. You have to make sure they don't drown you. They can drown you. Getting your bottoms tailored can be life-changing. Depending on how short you are, cuffing your pants or pulling your skirts higher would make a garment that is too long fit you. It's better if you get them tailored. This is the best way to avoid looking like you're drowning in your clothes. Unless this is the look that you're going for, avoid wearing very heavy looking shoes. They can make you look smaller than you are and depending on their style, they can also make you look like they are bigger than you. If you are short and wide, you might have a larger body frame. This will allow you to wear outfits that have a heavier visual weight because you won't be overpowered by it. But because you're still short, make sure your garments aren't overly stiff because that might drag you down. You might be this type if your head might look slightly smaller in comparison to your shoulders, you can have wide or square shoulders, it's easy for you to look muscular and your waist isn't super defined. And you might have wider or square shoulders. You can be either curb or frame dominant. If you are frame dominant, you will be able to carry heavier looks and fabrics and you can also wear straighter lines without looking shapeless. You might also look a bit taller than what you actually are. A few examples of short and wide women would be Janet Jackson, Tiana Taylor, Regina King, Mia Long, and Misty Copeland. If you are curb dominant, you will look better in softer looks that have more emphasis on your curves by emphasizing your waist. A few examples of short, wide, curb dominant women would be Georgia Smith, Ashanti, and Normani. If this is your type, you should go for softly tailored and more relaxed pieces. For shoes, slightly tapered and delicate designs will look good, but don't go with overly decorated pieces or shoes that have very thin details. If you want to accentuate your waist, you can wear belts or bottoms that cinch at the waist, but flow on your lower half. Avoid overly big handbags because it might throw off your balance and make you look very small in comparison. Medium to small bags are the best option. You can look for shapeless and slouchy handbags and they will look very good on you. You can also wear pieces that have a more raw look or natural look instead of looking unkempt. They will blend with your natural essence. Short and soft. 
If you're short and soft, you are curved dominant, but short. You're neither narrow nor wide, but you're right in the middle. Your bone structure is rounded and there's nothing sharp about your appearance. This might be your type F. You'll have a defined waist. You might have a full bust, full bottom, or both. It's a bit harder for you to look muscular. And you might have sloped shoulders. A few examples of short and soft women would be Leanne Pinnock, Antonia Thomas, Doja Cat, Nom Samo Mbata, Erika Tassel, Amber Riley, and Chloe Bailey. If this is your type, you should go for soft and delicate pieces with waist emphasis. For shoes, tapered and delicate designs will look great. You can wear heavily ornated pieces and they won't look odd on you. Waist emphasis is very important because you are curved dominant, wearing shapeless or boxy clothes will make you look off. Avoid overly big handbags because they might throw off your balance and make you look very small in comparison. Medium to small handbags are the best option. You can look for delicate and ornate bags. If you are short and soft, you can wear pieces with lots of soft details without being overpowered. But you have to make sure your garment hugs your body in all the right places to avoid looking boxy. Last but not least, short and narrow. If you're short and narrow, you have a small body frame. This means you have to make sure your looks aren't too heavy. You can be easily overpowered by fabrics and details. You might be short and narrow F. Your head looks slightly big in comparison to your shoulders. You have short limbs. You might look very tiny overall, even if you are plus size. You might also have a young or dullish look. You can be either frame or curve dominant. If you are frame dominant, you might have a sharper or blunt look. The first thing you might notice is how defined your features are. Some examples of frame dominant women are Lisa Bonet, Zoe Kravitz, FKA Twigs, Amadla Stenberg, Nian, Tiala Dunn, and Halle Bailey. If you are curved dominant, even if you're short and narrow, your structure still has a bit of softness in it, but it's not enough for you to be a short and soft type. Some examples would be Jada Pinkett Smith, Karuchi Tran, Janelle Monet. Octavia Spencer, Christina Milan, and Logan Browning. If you are short and narrow, you would greatly benefit from horizontal line breaks in your outfits. Cropped garments and short bottoms will make you look your best. For shoes, you can wear a mix of angular and soft looks. Asymmetrical cuts will also look great on you. A mix of bold and thin lines are also a good option, but make sure they don't look too heavy on you. If you are frame dominant, your body structure can handle tailored pieces and they will make you look great. Even if they are a little boxy, because of your sharp body structure, you will be able to handle it. If you are curved dominant, waist emphasis will make you look great. You can wear flouncier and more detailed garments than your frame dominant counterpart. You will be looking for softer pieces, but don't go for overly ornated or overly long pieces because they might overpower you. Avoid very big handbags because they might throw off your balance and make you look too small in comparison. Medium to small handbags are the best option. For a frame dominant type, angular and sharp bags. And for a curved dominant type, soft and rounded handbags. You can wear pieces with opposite feels, for example, mixing stiff fabrics with soft fabrics, 
or wearing bold lines with thin lines. This will make your outfits a bit more dynamic and they will fit perfectly with your structure. If you're short, sometimes shopping for clothes can be hard. Here are some stores that cater to short women. ASOS, Madewell, Old Navy, Reformation, Topshop, Loft, Lane Bryant, J. Crew, Anthropology, Ann Taylor, and Express. Those were all of my tips for today. Comment down below your type and how you like to style yourself. If you want me to talk about anything, just comment it down below. Also, you can hire me as your stylist or buy my style and color guides at cocostyling.com. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon!